Scotty Tucker from Clearwater Lakes and Ponds. Just wanted to show you our little surface aerator, the Aerolated Aquarium. Uh, these come in a range of sizes from three quarter horsepower up to two horsepower in any style and design. Then we shift into a larger unit for larger lakes and dams. But the, uh, these little ones here, the three quarter horsepower, are quite a good uh, plug and play, very easy to use. You just plug them into a standard domestic power point. The larger units from one horsepower, 1.5 horsepower or two horsepower, we have the option of three phase or single phase. Single phase units use a control box, three phase units are optional. We can also have an optional control box for both single and three phase, which includes a timer and motor protection. But these aerators are great for small dams and also for around irrigation suction points where if you've got a dam and you're getting a lot of debris getting uh, pulled in or you're getting a lot of biofilm, a lot of algae, these will push the algae away, oxygenate and get the water in the uh, surrounding area and keep it clear and free of, uh, of debris and blockages. So they're a very, very simple unit. You can see the float here. We've got one set up uh, just on a couple of trestles. And what you, they're square floats, so they're very stable, much more stable than the circular type of floats. In each corner, you've got an anchoring point. You can anchor those to the shore, or you can drop a couple of metres lost down and anchor just one off to diagonally opposite corners. Uh, the best thing about these units is their ease of maintenance, or very, very little maintenance, and the fact that they're built with components, which means that maintenance and ongoing repair, if in years to come you need to replace anything, it's very, very easy to do. You can see that the motor unit just simply drops in to the float and on the unit itself you can see the prop here and the cable, the drop cable runs out to whatever length that you want. We supply these with a standard length cable but we also can do whatever length you need to use. So the propeller here you can see it's a very simple design, the prop just spins around very very fast, the water gets pushed up here and then goes outwards. And so it's like having an outboard motor sitting behind your, uh, or, or sitting in your dam. It moves a hell of a lot of water. Because it's a propeller, it's not a, a necessarily a decorative type fountain. The fact that it's got this diffuser here does create somewhat of a decorative effect. It'll go like an upside down cone. But the main purpose of this one is for aeration. If you want the combination of aeration and decoration, it's sister product, which is called the Carnival, would be the best option. But if you've got a fountain that is purely decorative and it uses an impeller, kind of like a pump, then it's not going to be doing anything in terms of aeration. You definitely need to be using a propeller if you want to aerate. Now, the motor here uh, that Aerolator uses is a motor made by Franklin Electric. Franklin is recognised worldwide as one of the industry leaders in their, their quality motors. And the best thing about this motor is that it's not oil filled. That means that you don't have to do regular maintenance intervals and clean your oil, change your seals over, like you do with oil-filled motors. Those of you that have, the, that have had oil-filled motor equipment in the past will know that it's expensive to do it regularly, or in the worst case, which unfortunately happens most of the time, people either forget to do it or just don't do it at all because it's too expensive, and then the motor burns out. With these motors, zero maintenance. All what you have to do is uh, every few months you just come in here and just wipe the outer cage of the motor to make sure that you don't get a, uh, a biofilm building up on it which acts as a thermal blanket and causes it to heat off. And again, being how easy this is to use, you don't have to unbolt anything. Uh, you can do this by yourself in a little tinny on a kayak. Just literally pull it up out of the float, give it a wipe and off you go. Also a good idea to check the props and make sure that the, uh, there's no damage on the prop. When a propeller is spinning around like crazy, its water is corrosive, so it actually wears a propeller out. These ones are a polycarbonate uh, blend. If you see any nicks or uneven wear marks on the prop, you just replace it. Because what happens if you don't, if the prop spins unevenly, it'll end up causing damage to the, to the drive uh, shaft in the, in the motor itself. So these ones, this case of taking off a, a bolt here, sliding out the tube, popping the prop off, putting a new one in. So you can see there, there's a replacement prop, relatively inexpensive, put it on, off you go, good as new again. Another accessory that you may consider for this unit is the, uh, the strainer basket. So if you've got in an area where you've got a uh, risk of plastic bags coming in, lots of algae, lots of debris, lots of uh, sticks, you simply drop the motor in there, fix that to the unit and it acts as a protector. So again, optional extra, you don't need to use it if you're in a, a situation where you don't have those sorts of uh, debris problems, but again, low cost, low tech, very effective uh, uh, accessory to have. 
Now the floats themselves with Aerolator, they are uh, molded with foam inside. So if you were to get a hole in this, you get a big chunk taken out of it through damage for whatever reason, it's still not gonna sink. These things are virtually indestructible. Uh, also on the inside ring of the, the float itself, there are uh, anchor nuts molded into it. So again, if the, the smaller trash guard uh, is still struggling, if you're getting lots of de debris and lots of plastic bags floating in for whatever reason, you can also just get a, uh, a cylinder of mesh. You can create a stainless one, you can do a plastic, uh, you know, half inch by half inch plastic, something like that, and literally just uh, screw it onto the inside and do your own aftermarket trash, trash protector. And if you do that, don't put a bottom on it. You'd have it about 500 mil deep, open cell down the bottom, so that if you do get a lot, lot of large debris coming in, you're still able to draw water from underneath. We've been doing these products now for years and we've never needed to use one of those, but they think about these sorts of things. Very good system, very well engineered, great for small dams and also for keeping irrigation suction points clear. Aerolator Aquarium, very good product.